How's it going guys? I'm Jack and welcome back to Dyson's Fear Program and welcome back to the Let's Build series. Today we're taking a look at power because one of the big issues I was having is I just ran out of power so I need to do something about it and I decided to go for solar panels so we're going to do a really big solar panel array at the North Pole. I think it's the North Pole. It's either it's one of the poles <laughs> and also use the wind turbines that we've already made uh, to like make a better layout for power basically so i know we're pretty early in the game still and this is why i wanted to go for solar power right now because we don't have the capacity to do anything else really and um, we've got the uh the generators i think they're called generators i don't know um, but they're using the uh crude oil that we're making but that will eventually run out so we need a renewable source of uh, power which solar power I think is the best way to go for now so we are actually going to be making solar panels automatically because well we're going to need a ton of them and I don't want to be sitting here just literally uh, using the energy and making making them myself while we can be doing something else so for the solar panels we need circuit boards and silicon and I think that's oh and we need copper and I don't know I don't know anyway I rerouted a few things and I deleted everything that I did from before uh, just to rebuild it in a better layout because uh, I was bringing the iron ore right down when I, in reality I only needed iron ingots so I thought I'd make the whole belt's worth of iron ore into iron ingots first and then we can use those uh, in the various machines that we need and the same with the copper and um, I've just rerouted the copper from ooh, the very first episode so all of that smelting we've been doing before it's been used in this area here uh, so we're doing circuit boards and now we're making silicon now silicon is a pain in the butt I'm not gonna lie it takes so long to manufacture and first of all you need to smelt stone uh, stone ore into silicon ore and then you need to convert that into sil just pure silicon and it's that the ratios are outrageous it's like 10 seconds it's like 10 stone every 10 seconds makes one silicon I, or something like that it's mental anyway we need to find a silicon deposit and that's going to be on another planet um but for now i wasn't too worried about the speed of making the uh, solar panels i just wanted to make them basically uh, and also it would help with the efficiency anyway if we boosted power because if you do go uh, below well not if you do go above the maximum capacity of your power grid then the efficiency for all the machines just just drops so it's it was going to get better anyway with the more solar panels we make uh, so that was that was the idea about that and um, i realized the silicon was even slower than what i anticipated because i wasn't actually bringing over enough stone so i just went over put another miner machine down connected that to the power grid and looking at this actually it reminds me i need to automate the process uh, the production of the uh, Tesla towers because that's another thing I always run out of and I just have to sit there making a bunch of them and then it's just really annoying it takes so long <laughs> so that's the solar panels being made I know we deleted a lot of the components from before well last episode but they were useful to um, make the red matrices and we are going to rebuild them in a second but uh, we need to place down these solar panels now and like i said we're going to be doing them at one of the poles i think it's the north pole <laughs> i really don't know but this is probably the best place to do solar panels um the thing with wind turbines and solar panels they're a renewable source of energy but then they do give well i don't think the wind the wind generators uh, wind turbine whatever they're called <laughs> i don't think they give you a lot of power and I don't think the solar panels do so you need a lot of them in like just to fulfill the demand saying that though the wind turbines you have to place a certain distance away from each other um, and it can get really like a, and you can take up a huge area just wind turbines it's really inefficient this is why I like the solar panels better even though they do need to be in Sun they take up a much smaller footprint on the planet uh, which is really good like you can literally get them right next to each other so I think that's uh, like the main benefit of using solar uh, solar panels over the wind turbines um, here I had a load of wind turbines just 
like left over so i thought i might as well use them to connect to other places because it's going to be adding additional power to the uh to the um to the grid anyway and the reason we're doing it on the pole i should probably say this is i it depends on the angle of rotation or I, I what is it the tilt of the planet or something basically the pole is a really good place because half of it is always in sunlight so that means always half of your solar panel is always going to be like a really high um exposure to the sun whereas the other half won't be and i've seen people do like a equatorial belt of solar panels and i think that looks really cool and i don't know like how it weighs up efficiency wise and all that but um for me i thought the solar panels uh at the at the pole is going to be a little bit better because well i've built the factory over the equator so i <laughs> didn't really want to delete anything to get uh, an equatorial ring going i might try it on, an, on another planet but who knows we might have more power stuff uh by then if you can't tell by the way i'm doing this all in one take because um i really need to get some videos out because i haven't done for a while and i do apologize for that um i've just been studying and a few other things in life obviously coronavirus is getting everyone down uh, so, um, well, it's good to be back making the videos. I just have not had the motivation, not gonna lie. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> before we get a bit too deep here, um, we're actually remaking the components from before. I rerouted uh, the magnets from our first like starter base over here as well because I wanted to make some more, um, some additional electromagnetic coils because we we're gonna need a lot of them so instead of like rerouting the, the final electromagnetic coil from our starter base over um i thought i'd split the magnets in half because the blue matrices they're like stopped at the moment um so we can split the magnets in half bring those over and then use them for the coils also i was just being lazy i could have i could have just smelted some more <laughs> magnets but um it was all good all good in the end the main reason for doing this is to actually make the electromagne uh, electromagnetic turbines because we can use them for the level two um, belts and sorters and there's a bunch of other stuff as well you can use them for. So I thought it'd be useful to automate the process, uh, automate the production of them. Um, so that's what we're doing now. And I realized as well, <laughs> we need it foundations and a lot of foundations because i was building this all around a few like lakes and pod i say lakes they're more like puddles but you can't build on every section um if there's like a if there's like a bit of water there so um, i wanted to build some foundations and it turns out that foundations are very expensive to make <laughs> so um I've, i started with a little setup here making foundations but i've done a whole nother video and um, which i'll link in the corner now um that takes uh, that shows me building um, a like a dedicated foundation facility um, and that literally just produces a lot of foundations that we can use so the plan is to use those foundations to pave around the whole planet and then use these wind turbines that we've already got uh, just to create a ring of power that is going to distribute like the power more evenly and also allow us to like tap into uh, the power grid pretty much from anywhere on the planet or at least it's like everywhere on the planet will be close to like a power source the layout for these wind uh, for these solar panels is going to change uh, because well i didn't have foundations and there were a few puddles and stuff there uh, that i couldn't build on so i'm going to redo that it was very difficult to come up with a good layout for that <laughs> that was like equal on all sides so uh, I thought I'm going to do that off camera I will start with this ring of uh, wind turbines so the plan was to put foundations around the whole planet but as you can see there literally just ran out I thought I had tons but didn't even get a call already around the planet so foundations are being made off camera somewhere um, and I thought well I just start off with uh, putting some wind turbines down and like I said it's going to go around the whole planet so looking back at this now I realized I've made a mistake I'm putting the wind turbines as far away from each other as possible however they should be as close as possible to each other just so we can fit more in it's not a big deal and I'm going to change this before we do the live commentary bit 
Um, but that is the basic idea for power. So we've got a solar panel array at one of the poles and also we've got a ring of wind turbines. And I'm not gonna do the whole time lapse of that because it's just me placing down a bunch of things. So let's head over to the live commentary and see what we've just built. Okay, so I think everything's come out pretty well. This is the final layout of the solar panels. I think it's pretty decent. <laughs> it's very symmetrical, which I like. Foundations are not complete on it though. And I, I have just run out of foundations. You need tons and tons of foundations. Uh, so this is going pretty well. And let's take a look at our uh, actual like capacity and demand and stuff. So. Uh, we've actually got a generation capacity of 76 megawatts at the moment and the consumption is really low and that's because nothing's working but I'm pretty sure this is going to be good enough for now also. Um, we'll take a look around um, our ring of, well, ring of wind turbines. I think it looks really cool. It's really dark at the moment as well. Sorry about that. But um, yeah, I thought literally there's no point wasting all the wind turbines by like getting rid of them we may as well use them and i thought this is a pretty decent way to use them oh sunrise coming over here this game is so like nice looking isn't it <laughs> oh there's a random solar panel there <laughs> i don't know why that's there um but yeah it looks, looks pretty good doesn't it it looks pretty good I think the next episode we're going to be going on to i think it's yellow matrices um, so that's going to be next episode, but look at this. This is um, our foundation making little factory thing and <laughs> I didn't think of this, but I put it right in right on the uh, Longitudinal line and I was like man, I can't be bothered to move it right now. Just being lazy uh, So that goes all the way around the planet um, So yeah, hopefully this uh, has given you some ideas on how to do some like beginner power stuff and I was gonna do like a whole nother ring going like the other way like east to west or I don't even know which way we're facing here but north to south and east to west we're gonna do I was gonna do both of them and I think I will do that eventually it just takes a very long time to make stuff <laughs> so that is it it looks pretty cool as well doesn't it and like I said I mean it does depend on the, the tilt of the planet but on the pole you're gonna have like half and half um, in sunlight and some in like not in sunlight so you can see like these have got like 60% intensity whereas these ones over here apparently they've got 60% intensity as well I don't know how that works oh here we go we've got 30% in the middle um, but yeah it all kind of averages out and once um, once more sunlight gets to this then yeah the production uh, power production will be up and running and I think it's pretty decent like I said beginner power renewable it's not going to run out anytime soon and well we can just keep making solar panels can't we so that's all good uh, so yeah that is the video guys thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy the video remember to hit the like button any questions suggestions or comments leave them down in the comment section below and um, if you do enjoy factory building and management games like this then be sure to subscribe and i live stream over on twitch link to my channel is in the description but as always stay safe have fun and i'll see you on the next one